where we start, I guess uh, it started probably about 10 years ago. It was a bit of a crazy idea. Um, where all good ideas start is at a pub over a beer between myself and my brother-in-law. Um, I guess we both shared a passion for whiskey uh, and making it. Um, so we wanted to really knuckle down and learn how to make uh, a really good tasty bourbon. Uh, that's that my preferred drink anyway. And my brother-in-law's preferred drink was more of a single malt. So we had a bit of a clash here, what we're going to start off making. But uh, we narrowed down on, on the niche, which is like a bourbon style spirit. Um, so we wanted to make that here in Perth, West Australia. Uh, it's quite a unique space to do it in, but um, uh, we didn't think it was really possible. I thought it was a bit of a crazy idea, really, but um, we went travelling, um, met a, a lot of interesting characters over in the States. Uh, one particular guy was a guy called Tom Cooper, and uh, he was really instrumental in getting us off the ground and helping us create uh, the bourbon style whiskey that we wanted. Because, I mean, um, making bourbon, um, I mean, anyone can make a whiskey, really. But um, there's a lot of theory and science and um, you know, a lot of uh, um, chemical engineering and process engineering stuff you need to know. But really, when it comes down to it, you need to learn that art of making uh, bourbon. And that's where Tom come into it. I spent a long time with him in the States learning, learning the art of making, making a bourbon whiskey. And uh, we bring it back here. A lot of my family and friends got involved uh, helping us build this place here in Perth. Um, it took us a while. Um, we did it on a shoestring budget, had no money really to start with, uh, built a lot of stuff ourselves, but eventually what we, we got out was a little craft distillery and uh, we called it Whippersnapper Distillery. So. Yeah, well, we wanted to produce a, a whiskey, obviously. Uh, good whiskey takes time. It was that was one of the most important things I've always learnt, was it takes time. So fortunately we can just uh, you know, have a, a magical whiskey appear out of the cast. So we wanted to make a white spirit. Um, wanted to be a bit different. Uh, that's what we're all about. It sounds a little bit different than how we make our products. So first thing we made was a moonshine. And we did a, a traditional moonshine. So obviously made with a corn base, um, distilled nice and high off the, off the still, uh, and then cut back down to about 40%. So nice and, nice and easy. So that was our kind of entry product into the market. It was, a, a, it was actually Australia's first uh, moonshine. Um, surprisingly done quite well across Australia. I think a lot of the bar scene, especially the local bar scene, have picked it up and mixed it in cocktails. It gets pretty exciting for some of the, the uh, mixologists out there. Uh, the next product we did was a, a barrel aged moonshine. A bit of a, a slight take on the traditional moonshine. What we did was stick the moonshine in a cask, fresh American oak for about six weeks. Gave it a bit of colour. There's two reasons we do that, a bit of education um, aspect as well. Just to show people that every whiskey starts off clear and white. No, not a lot of complexity, not a lot of character and flavour there. Six weeks in fresh oak, like, you get this hit of colour and a lot of flavour starting to develop, but still got that classic moonshine taste. And then, well, we're about four, four or five months away and we get our actual whiskey that'll come out. It's pretty exciting, but um, we're always trying to break new grounds with different sizes of grain whiskies, and um, we've got a very special whisky coming out very soon as well. So, yeah, it's called uh, Project Q. <laughs> I guess uh, here in Australia, definitely here in the West and, uh, and especially the local uh, Perth bar scene, they're all um, thirsty for that next product, that next craft beer and the next kind of craft spirit. So we want to be on the cutting edge of um, making new spirits. So this year we've got um, our, obviously our first release, our first release whiskey, which is a, a take on a, a bourbon style whiskey. Um, and then we'll have a, a very unique whiskey come out as well. Um, but I guess going forward, we're just going to create uh, new styles of whiskey. We want to really concentrate on the grains that are grown here in West Australia. I mean, all our grains in our products are West Australian, and we hope they always will be. Um, the next product I want to start working on with, with a local farmer from where I'm from is a, uh, a wheat whiskey, quite popular in the craft industry over in the States as well. So I hope to start working on that. And if we can start getting new products into the, into the local scene, then they can champion products like that and get it across. And, you know, I think over in the West, we're, you know, we love pioneering new things. So it's, where the, it's a home of the craft beer, so let's make it the same for whiskey.